Time to take a closer look at the weather. I've always said that Idaho has the best skies I've ever seen anywhere. It's true. It's like big sky country. Mm. I know Montana is big sky country, but well, back east, there's so much moisture in the air and some pollution too. But yeah. mostly the moisture, it's just all milky white. It's sometimes even hard to tell if it's sunny or cloudy that you really see that ball of sun just kind of just glowing back east. But that's about it. Here west, you get the blue skies. Remember the picture of the day. Now, here's another image of it. These are what we call cloud streets here, sent in uh, by uh, Steve. Uh, Steve sent these in from the central, from, he was in the central mountains, Steve Harkins, he's from Haley, but he was doing a rafting trip, as you can see there. I'll show you a few of the shots that he sent on in. Interesting formation. Now, you may have noticed these. I saw them over the Treasure Valley as well, up over the central, kind of up over the Boise front here, and it's a great views of these clouds, cloud streets indeed. So how are these happening? Well, if you look at the clouds uh, oriented this way, the wind, the low-level winds were strong and running parallel with this right in here. What you have to have is you have to have pretty strong upper-level winds. We had that jetty move through. Remember the wind? Windy day that we had last week. This was the day right here. So what happened is we had a lot of rain prior to that. You have to add moisture. So there's got to be moisture around, but also sinking air, drying air, high pressure, nice weather trying to move in. And so that sinks the air aloft. And so you get those deep blue skies, but then you have these showers and storms trying to form. So the air is rising in this location right here. Let's change the computer now. I want to show you what's happening in the atmosphere. So you've got the wind howling in this direction, parallel this way. And so what happens is the air is rising and when it rises, it cools and condenses and forms a cloud. But because the air is sinking with this little inversion layer right here, stopping anything to rise with the strong winds aloft, what happens is you get these little rotating uh, little kind of cones right here, I guess you'd call them, or cylinders. And so the air is actually rotating up, and then it sinks in, in these locations here. So where it rises, you get cool, cooling, condensation, and clouds. Where it sinks, it dries out. And so when you have these two sinking here, you get a dry area, and then the air rises, and you get these clouds. And with the strong winds blowing this way, it just sends them out in big, long rows. So those are cloud streets. You need some strong wind and low-level moisture. Don't get it that often. That's, no. That's when you know he knows his stuff. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I know. I've never seen that's anything really, like it. That's good. All right. Thanks, Scott. You bet.